Hey guys, it's Blue. Here doing, hopefully it's going to be the final product review of this Bushmaster uh, Carbon 15. Uh, it's the AR Platform 223556. Uh, I have a previous video uh, that I had two years ago, roughly, uh, when I first got this platform. And I the video's got quite a few hits, but there's not really a lot of content on that video because I hadn't had this for, for any real uh, period of time, didn't have a chance to use it. So after two years, I think that, you know, this is going to be a good honest review of it. Uh, the mechanics of this, everything is the same. Uh, everything inside, uh, nothing's nothing's changed on the inside. That's still what, what came with it. Uh, the only things that have changed, which I do have videos up with pretty much all of the upgrades that I did. Um, I've got the ATI stock and grip uh, that came as a set. Uh, I love it. Uh, everything's comfortable. It's rubberized on the back here. It's rubberized around the, the, the heel of the grip. Uh, it's it's nice. I, I like it. There's no complaints about it. Uh, with the original stock that was on the, the Bushmaster Carbon, it was real short, uh, and you didn't get a good shoulder placement. I didn't feel, and adding the cheek rest onto it definitely raises your uh, your face and your eye into the alignment with uh, with the optics, which that's what I feel that the uh, platform was missing right off the bat. Uh, the other upgrades on this is the flip-up sights, the, the rear and the front. Uh, those are command uh, arms flip-up sights. I've done video on that. Also, great investment, uh, and it's not going to kill your wallet, and I've had zero problems with those. The optic on it is the same. Uh, that, that's what came with the platform. I, I want to change it, but right now is just not a good time because I'm not willing to pay, you know, $100, 150 you know, even up to $300 for a mid-range whenever I know what I want, <laughs> and it's a lot more than that. So I'm just going to stick with that, and it, it hasn't failed me yet. Uh, changed out the standard rail uh, to the quad rail. It's just an aluminum quad rail. And the front grip, That's I got picked that up at a gun show for like 15 bucks. Uh, and the final, I guess, would be I put a single point sling adapter on it, and this is a Black Hawk uh, single point sling. So that's the only upgrades. Uh, as far as functionality goes on this weapon, uh, this is a great time to do this video because I literally just got back uh, Friday, which is two days ago now, uh, from a patrol rifle instructor course, which I took this rifle with me. Uh, the course was put on by Safari Land, so I'm sure if you look up the internet, uh, you can find you know what their requirements were, what type of testing that they did uh, to get certified as a patrol instructor. Uh, however, with that said, with this weapon, um, through the three days that I was at the course, I put 1,000 rounds downrange, and I had zero malfunctions. Uh, I mean, zero, no failure to feeds, no nothing. I mean, it worked flawlessly, which. I don't want to say it was shocking, but it made me feel good because I had guys that were in that same course that had, you know, their $2,000 platforms with however many thousands of dollars in upgrades that they had done. And, you know, they were jamming, they were having issues, and this <laughs> this weapon I had zero problems with, and it really, really made me feel, you know, really good about it. Um, so we had a 1,000 rounds down range, and that was over three days. I didn't clean the gun once, uh, so that was awesome. And it's not like we were using the best ammo for the qual or for the course, uh, because we knew we were going to be shooting a lot of ammo. So the department uh, they just purchased the Wolf Gold, uh, the two two three Remington. Uh, so we got a thousand rounds of that and zero zero issues. Uh, on top of that, I would say over the past two years, a safe estimate because I qualify with this rifle at work. Plus, you guys have seen some of the the farm videos that I do whenever we go out shooting. And I don't videotape every time I go out shooting. Actually, it's really rare that I video when I'm out there. I would say it's safe to say I probably got 35 to 4,000 rounds, maybe even higher than that. I'm just doing a low ball just to be safe on it. And in all of that time, other than whenever I had a magazine issue uh, from a Plinker Arms magazines, which were just, I, I could, failure to feed every time. It was definitely the magazines because whenever I switched out, it did not have that issue. Uh, I've had one jam in all of those uh, all those rounds at one. Um, it was a failure to extract, and you know it, took, it was a bitch to get out. But you know it fixed the problem, and you know I'm not going to blame the ammo. I mean I think it was a, just a fluke because I was using that tool ammo, uh, and that's the only 
other than whenever I had the magazine issues, that's the only malfunction I've had with his rifle. Uh, and like I just got done saying, the tool ammo, that's the majority of the ammo that I've put through this platform, uh, with the exception of his last thousand rounds of the Wolf Gold, which is brass. Uh, but yeah, the tool ammo, I've never had an issue. Yeah, it's dirty and you got to do a pretty good cleaning job when you're done, but I mean, zero issues. So, uh, yeah, the only thing, like I said, the only other upgrade that I really want to do on this, uh, on this rifle, I'd like to do a trigger job on it. It's not, you know, it's not pressing, it's not, but it's a little bit of a heavy trigger pull on that. I would like to lighten that up. Uh, definitely the the optic though. I want definitely want to get one of the the top of the line optics, uh, and then once I upgrade the rifle, you know I can switch the optic onto the new rifle. But all right, guys, that's it. Uh, it's time for me to clean. It's going to take a while, uh, but yeah, zero. Well, one malfunction in two years, roughly thirty five hundred to four thousand rounds. Very minor cosmetic upgrades all the mechanics are the same so hopefully for the people that have been you know asking me questions on my original video they get this video and they can see you know I have to I have to have to have to have to give this rifle a plus five out of five I mean I've heard that it cracks I've heard it does this I've heard it does that mine my right here I've never had that happen so a plus five out of five all right guys later good shoulder placement and I do like the uh, way that the weapon falls when you're trying to do a video.